So hi everyone. Uh, so uh, we will continue with our part two on pharmaceutical calculation. So let us see. Okay. Um, in this second part, uh, we will explore a different type of calculation. Um, uh, as I will explain after this. Um, and uh, uh, before we begin, I would like to emphasize or re-emphasize on the CLO or, co uh, or cost learning outcome um, number two, which is uh, for you to calculate correctly the pharmaceutical preparation formulation according to the outline formula. So this is the cost learning outcome. It means that uh, for FAR122, this is what is uh, expected of you. You should be able to calculate correctly the pharmaceutical preparation formulation according to a given or an outline formula. Okay, so what will we learn today? Uh, in this uh, uh, second part of pharmaceutical calculation, we will uh, discuss on the ratio calculation or proportional calculation, part per million uh, and part per billion, allegation method and also density calculation. Um, there's uh, quite a lot for this uh, section, so take your time and uh, we will discuss uh, uh, slowly okay, on what you need to understand on these uh, topics. So now, uh, the first one is ratio calculation. So ratio, as you know, uh, or, in, uh, or in Bahasa is called nisbah. So um, it's usually expressed to simplify writing, okay? But it should be easily understood. Um, so if we say 1 to 2, it means that uh, the ratio is uh, 1, um, one uh, part to 2 parts, okay, of a substance. So the numbers usually refer to gram, weight or ml, volume. I, as I explained before, the unit will always uh, refer to uh, gram for weight or ml for volume unless otherwise specified. So if there's no specification, uh, so you should always uh, consider that uh, if it's in uh, uh, weight, so it should be gram or it's, uh, if it's liquid, it should be ml. So uh, I give you some examples here. Uh, example number one. Um, if you are given a sentence or a statement that saying this is a 1 in 50 preparation of potassium permanganate. So it means that uh, the product contains 1 gram of potassium permanganate in 50 ml of solution or water as the carrier. So if you have uh, 100 ml of preparation, it means that uh, there's uh, 2 gram of uh, potassium permanganate in the 100 ml. Uh, as uh, in example number two, uh, if uh, the statement say that this is a 100 ml product of 1 in 50 potassium permanganate, it means that in this 100 ml, there should be 2 gram of potassium permanganate.